Welcome to the online unit on project management, an overview. After completing this unit, you will be able to define project, identify project characteristics, examine the relation between project constraints, examine the scope triangle, classify projects. Construction of dams, implementing a management information system, building a new space vehicle, all these are examples of different projects. Any project needs a proper planning to implement and achieve success. The current unit focuses on an overview of project management. Project means a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service as defined in PMBOK PMI publication. Now let's see the project characteristics. Every project has a set of activities that are unique. These activities do not repeat in the project under similar circumstances. Projects are goal specific. It could be constructing a new facility or computerization of accounts department. Any project follows a sequence of activities to deliver the end product based on the technical requirements and interdependency of each activity. Every project has a specified start and end date, which is either self-imposed or is specified by the client. Projects consist of technically interrelated activities where the output of one activity becomes the input for another activity. Project constraints include Scope describes all activities, resources, end products of high quality that are required for successful completion of a project. A project is expected to meet the quality requirements at product and process or implementation levels. Time is one of the major constraints as it is inversely related to cost. Monetary resources are required to perform activities at various stages of the project cycle. A project needs to be delivered with an estimated budget. Project resources include people, finances, information and other physical infrastructure. Now let's look at the project scope triangle. The scope and quality of a project are influenced by constraints like time, cost and availability of resources. The three sides of the triangle represent the constraints within which the objectives of a project are to be accomplished. This dynamic system needs to be in equilibrium, which ultimately leads to the success of the project. Projects can be classified based on their characteristics, such as time span, level of risk, level of complexity, technology and probability of problems. Once the project is classified, it becomes easy for the management to select the project management style that best suits that class of project.